The statue of this diver is displayed at Winchester Cathedral among saints and kings. In case you are wondering why, keep up watching the video. Armenian Reclus presents. Winchester Cathedral is one of the largest cathedrals in Europe, with the greatest overall length of any Gothic cathedral. It was built in 1079 on a raft of logs on a pit bog. However, in the early 1900s, the cathedral started to sink slowly into the ground. Large cracks began to appear in the cathedral's massive walls and vaulted ceilings. Some were wide enough for owls to roost in. Chunks of stone were falling to the ground. The cathedral seemed in danger of complete collapse. The architect Thomas Jackson was called upon to remedy the situation once and for all, as the condition was getting dire by the day. After much consultation, Jackson decided to dig narrow trenches underneath the walls of the building and fill them with concrete. This would need to reach 4 meters below the water table to be effective. But soon Jackson's plan would prove unworkable. As fast as the workmen dug, water flooded into their trenches. Even a steam pump couldn't hold it back long enough. It seemed nothing could be done to stop total collapse. Then the project's engineer, Francis Fox, came up with a brilliant idea to call in a deep-sea diver to help out if the water couldn't be held back. This was how the destiny of the cathedral and that of William Walker crossed paths and was sealed forever. Walker was an experienced diver working at Portsmouth Dockyard and with his upcoming work would make history becoming the most famous cathedral diver ever. Sounds like fun, but this might have been the world's worst job. His job was to dive down into the pitch black waters of more than 230 water filled pits 6 meters deep beside the cathedral walls, to put concrete underneath the walls, thus preventing them from subsiding. From 1906, Walker labored underwater below the cathedral for 6 hours a day at depths up to 6 meters in complete darkness because the sediment suspended in the water was impenetrable to light. He used his bare hands to feel his way through the cloudy, muddy water. Walker's huge heavy diving suit took a long time to put on, so when he stopped for lunch, he would just take off his helmet. He also sometimes smoked his pipe, which he thought would kill off any germs. The job continued from 1906 until 1911. Story has it that Walker would travel 70 miles down from South Norwood to Winchester by train and cycle home on a Friday night. In response to questions about his work on Winchester, William said, It was not difficult. It was straightforward work but had to be carefully done. It took him six years to excavate the flooded trenches and fill them with bags of concrete. By 1911, the team of 150 workmen of which he was part had packed the foundation with an estimated 25,000 bags of concrete, 115,000 concrete blocks and 900,000 bricks. Walker used up so many bricks that there was a brick shortage in Hampshire at the time. After Walker finished his work, the groundwater was pumped out and the concrete he had placed bore the foundation walls. Conventional bricklayers then were able to do their work in the usual way and restore the damaged walls. The cathedral was saved. The King of the United Kingdom, George V, who contributed to the cost of the restoration work, awarded Walker the Royal Victoria Medal for his work. Sadly, Walker died aged just 49 during the Great Spanish Flu epidemic of 1918. Since then, the inspiring story of this modest, hard-working man has captured public imagination and his fame has steadily grown. William Walker's grave bears the words, the diver who with his own hands saved Winchester Cathedral.